Hey, After Effects users, I'm Noel Powell from creationeffects.com, and I have another free effect for you guys. It's a simple rainbow effect that you can easily customize with controls and composite into your scenes or motion designs. It's an animation preset, so in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to install it so that you can always access it whenever you want inside of After Effects. And I'll show you how it's made and how to customize it, which isn't hard. Uh, pretty simple effect. I made this for the Landscaper template, uh, which lets anyone create really epic 3D landscape animations in After Effects, uh, like the animations that you're seeing now. Um, this is a huge template with tons of cool effects, uh, this rainbow being just one of them. And you can make any kind of landscape and animate your camera to move around it and create time lapses, sunsets and beaches, fantasy landscapes, whatever kind of nature scene you want. I'll show you more at the end, uh, but let's talk about the rainbow effect. Just go to the link in the description to download it. It comes in a zip file, so open that up. And uh, for Windows users, I'll put up the location on the screen where you're supposed to put this file. Um, I'm on a Mac, so I'll just show you where it goes on a Mac. Um, you'll want to open Finder, and then go down to your Applications, and then whatever version of After Effects you're using, and then go to the Presets folder. And I recommend you create a new folder and name it Creation Effects. And that way you can keep all the, uh, the presets from the site together. Um, so you just drag this in there and now I'll open After Effects and I'm going to start a new composition. I'll make it HD, but it can be whatever you want. And the preset should be applied to a solid layer. So I'll create a new layer, go to New and then Solid. And I'll just make it comp size, uh, but this layer can be whatever resolution you want. Uh, and I'll call it Rainbow and click OK. Zoom out. So presets are found in this Effects and Presets panel. If you don't see this, you can go to Window and choose Effects and Presets. And I'll open up these Animation Presets and then the Presets folder. And here's our Creation Effects folder. And here it is. Uh, with the layer selected, we can just double click it. And if you're like me, uh, you want everything to be tidy and nice. So I'm going to close all those and just open up this top effect, which uh, these are the controls for customizing the rainbow. And if you're thinking that my voice sounds much cooler than normal, it's because I'm sick. I try to record my tutorials when I'm sick so that I don't sound like Steve Buscemi, which apparently I do, according to many YouTubers. Anyway, we've got the rainbow controls for customization up here and uh, some instructions um, so that in a year from now when you use this control, you'll, you'll have an idea what to do. But it's not hard. Um, underneath here are all the effects that are, are used to build the rainbow. Um, I'll open up these shape controls because there's more controls in here. So let's go through it really quick. Um, I'm going to hide all these and then I'll just unhide them one by one, just so you can see how it's built. Uh, first, a gradient ramp. Um, this creates a, a gradient from black to white. And this determines the thickness of your rainbow, and there's a thickness control here if you want to change it. I'll leave it at 100. Next, we have two linear wipe effects for cropping uh, everything below the gradient and everything above the gradient. Um, so you can see if we hit this toggle transparency grid, it cropped off that part of the layer. And next, Colorama. This one maps all the colors of the rainbow to the gradient. And you can uh, shift the colors if you want, or spread them out using these controls. Next, Rough and Edges softens uh, the edges. And we have a couple more linear wipe effects to trim off the left and right edges. And you can adjust the trim and the amount of that it fades out using these controls. Uh, and then CC bend it. This will just bends it into a curve. And then there's an arc control here, so you can make it bend however you want. If for some silly reason you want it to bend upward, then you can do that and then move it down with this Y position control. And then the fast box blur just adds a, another blur to the whole thing. 
all of these effects can be uh, customized using these controls here. So the idea is you just get the look and shape that you want using these controls. And then you can just use uh, the, the normal transform controls on this layer to position or rotate or scale or set the opacity of this layer however you want. Um, you, can, you can make it a 3D layer if you want and rotate it or uh, whatever. Um, a couple other things, you got this cartoonify effect. If you're wanting something more like vector art, you can uh, do that really easily with that checkbox. And like I said, you can adjust the trim on any side and how it fades out. Um, these two controls at the end here, if you select the rainbow controls, you can see two crosshairs and you can just drag these around and it, you can get some irregular shapes by doing that. Um, you can also just drag these values. It's the same thing. And that about does it. Uh, like I said, this effect was designed for the Landscaper template. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, Landscaper, as I was saying, lets you create any kind of landscape in After Effects. It includes 1,000 landscape elements like trees and mountains and clumps of grass or rocks. Whatever you might need uh, to build a custom landscape and it includes 30 finished landscapes, uh, which are the ones that you're seeing now. And those can be customized and you can put your logo or 3D text in those scenes and then render them out. Uh, the template has a lot of really cool nature effects to enhance your scenes and just uh, really cool features built into it. Like if you want a river or a lake in your scene, all you gotta do is just draw it with your pen tool on the ground layer and the water appears. Uh, and you can have stuff reflected in that water. Um, it has automatic atmospheric haze uh, to add depth. And the lighting is all automatic. So there's uh, a clock control where you can set the time of day. So if you set it to about 7 p.m., the sun sets and the colors get warmer. Uh, or you can set it to the middle of the night and the stars come out. And you can keyframe that clock control and easily create a time lapse effect. And you can add custom clouds uh, and wind so that your plant elements sway back and forth, um, custom waterfalls, custom fog, uh, heat haze. Uh, I can go on and on. So go watch the demo video if it interests you. Uh, again, the link is down below. And that's it. I hope you uh, get some good use out of this rainbow effect. I'll keep pumping out uh, more free effects and After Effects tutorials. So subscribe to stay informed of those and have a great week.